Hi, my name is Tyler Burke with Burke Lawn Service here in Lee Summit, Missouri. And I built this year a mowing box truck. I got the idea from, I think it's Ryan Siamana uh, Lawn Crack, that guy, that had like three mowing box trucks, all they bought from U-Haul. We did the exact same thing, and I wanted to show you the setup. It is really sweet for lawn crews, um, and actually fairly economical to set it up too. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give you a walkthrough of our mowing box truck. And this truck solves a lot of the problems we were having as a small business. Um, I was running out of space to store all this stuff. Um, you know, obviously a mowing business, it takes, you know, more mowers, more trimmers, more blowers, um, just more and more and more crap. And what we do with the box truck at the end of the night, pull the door down on the truck, lock that door, put the ramp up and lock the ramp too. And then we keep it at an outdoor storage space um, at a storage mart and uh, back it up to another vehicle. So it, so far, so good with that. And for about 75 bucks a month, we can store everything required, including the vehicle, for a mowing crew. And that's a huge benefit to it. So, um, yeah, if you're thinking of doing the box truck, it's pretty cool. The outside of it, um, we got it wrapped, which we, we really like it. Um, you have tons of space to be a billboard on this thing, which is awesome. Um, it's a Ford E450 chassis that we bought from U-Haul. Um, so you have plenty of capacity. You can put 6,000 pounds in the back of it. I'll show you guys the interior of it. Um, the interior of these trucks, it's, it's crap. But it's everything you need, nothing you don't. Rolled up windows, um, AC, works pretty good. It is filthy right now. We've been using it. It's just a rainy day. I'm filming this on. I added a backup camera, as you can see right here. That ended up being about the only place I could get it without it blocking your view of the windshield. And then I added a brake controller too. So that's about the only thing special in the interior. Little storage cubby there. Fire extinguisher there. And walk you guys around to the back of the truck. They're all dualies. We put the uh, wheel simulators on it and the chrome bumper on the front but here's a shot of the back of it and uh, we put these ramps on the ramps break in the middle they're the super box truck ramps so when you pull them up they split and they fold up the back of the truck um, but yeah we can walk inside and we've got our weed eater rack here, two weed in a rack, string, trash can. We've got our blower rack here, water cooler, and you can reach the water cooler from the outside of the truck with the gate up. And then we've got the two stroke gas here, little room like if you want to throw lawn bags or something there. Trash can for limbs, push mower, 48 inch grandstand. That's a 32 inch walk behind gravely that we picked up over the last winter. I needed another backyard mower and got that pretty cheap. Um, we can also put our 36 grandstand in there. Not at the same time, but we can change these out depending on what we need. Up at the front on mom's attic, we've got our accelerator bagger. And then we've got two five gallon gas tanks. So they've always got enough gas. And then this is just random crap storage. As you can see, it's a mess and the coup de grace of mowing vehicle amenities, the toilet. Um, that's an RV toilet. It cuts your time way, way down because there's no more stopping, running, you know, 15 minutes wasted going up to the gas station. Nothing. That's uh, totally eliminated with that. And you just put treatment packs in it. It's... Uh, Pretty easy to empty if you don't let it get too full. And behind that plywood thing, you can stand back there and nobody can see you at all. Um, that's where the plywood wall is right there. But yeah, this is our mowing truck. And we uh, love it. It's, it's awesome. Fuel economy is not very good. Um, but our routes are really tight. So we go through about 33 gallons a week in it. Um, which... You know, that's not wonderful, 
but it's not that bad either. Uh, we figured our average gas mileage is about 6.8 miles per gallon. That's exclusively city driving, and that's fully loaded. You know, it has, we can fit that mower in here too. So you still have, with those two mowers in here, we can then fit the third mower in really, really easily. So here's the box truck with the ramps folded up. Um, they're not real heavy, they're not super light either, but they're not too bad. Um, this is how it locks, so it holds the back one in place, and then you pin it. But it has those gas struts that mount down there, and it helps pick it up quite a bit. Um, without those, it is really, really heavy, but with them, it's not too bad. So on that side, it has them too. And then that's the backup camera, where the outside part of it mounts. And then these trucks come with the two inch ball uh, welded on, which is kind of silly. I'm actually gonna take this truck over today to a shop and see if they can make a custom hitch with a two inch receiver because I wanna be able to pull a dump trailer with this truck. And they don't come with two inch balls on dump trailers. So I'm hoping to be able to get a, just a regular two inch receiver mounted on the back of that truck. But yeah, that's our, our mowing box truck. Hope you guys like it, and uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks.